there will be hiccups like that in life and at some points also it's gonna be disappointing and you might also lose money when those things happen but what I want to submit to you is this it's part of the process of being a good business person of being a good entrepreneur of being a good investor the realization that success victory or even earning more it's not a straight line upward If you have dreams and goals in life, I'm making this video for you. We all go through a lot of stuff on a daily basis and it's easy to be inspired for a goal, a dream, if things are good. Or you see, it's the start of the year where everything is so exciting, everything is so fruity and you're very, very optimistic on how things will go. And some of you might have set goals that you want to save this much at the end of the year, you want to start this business, or you want to start to invest, or if you're investing, you want to earn this much in your investments, which are all amazing. People don't plan to fail, they just fail to plan. And the fact that you're doing this already and you're planning sets you apart already because at least you know how to steer your life. You already have a direction on where you want to go. Just to bring you back, no, 2020, 2021, we saw large market movements in stocks and in crypto and everyone was so excited, especially when you see markets go massively higher. You have a lot of people who want to just come in even if it's at a higher price when there's a lot of optimism, which is well and good. However, similar to what happened in 2022, we saw a lot of collapses from FTX or even one of the largest tokens in terms of market cap, Terra Luna drop as well it basically went to zero 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 that's what i'm saying that in between your goals in between the things that you want to get there will be challenges there will be disappointments or if you're watching this also and you may have invested in play to earn you got scholars as well or you actually thought that this is something that could be a side hustle or a new business or a new stream of income and it didn't go the way you want it to go there will be hiccups like that in life and at some points also, it's gonna be disappointing and you might also lose money when those things happen. But what I want to submit to you is this. It's part of the process of being a good business person, of being a good entrepreneur, of being a good investor. The realization that success, victory, or even earning more, it's not a straight line upward. I always talk about technical analysis that if you remember how an uptrend looks like, the direction is up but there are portions in the uptrend where the price would move down and that's what i think how you should approach this is that if you think 2022 was bad just look at it from a longer macro perspective that if 2020 2021 was good for you then 2022 was not as good that's a dip in your uptrend the most important thing though and i've said this in a lot of videos is that when you make a mistake when you lose money or when it's a really really bad experience don't just let that be a hurtful or bad experience try to mine what you could get from it try to learn what you could get from it try to see what are the things that you could improve from as an investor or as an entrepreneur that will make you better or so you totally avoid it and you don't do it again no one likes to lose money but you have to remember this that no one also will play a perfect game that you won't have any mistakes in your investments. There's also some things at the back of your head that you might have said that if I just spent the money, I would have been better off than investing it here because at least if I spent it, I would have enjoyed it. Or I may now have this gadget or I may have gone to this place versus investing it and then investment did not go the way I wanted it to go. That's true, but regret is a poison. Regret is something that you can't already go back to it. But what you can do is, prevent those things from happening again and getting the learnings from that to make you a better investor. If you made mistakes in 2022, guess what? You're gonna make more in the future. And if your portfolio will be bigger also in the future, there's a probability also that when you lose, it might be larger amount of money also than what you've lost in the past. But that will be part of it. Even if you look at the top tycoons, Henry C, 
SMU, they had some bad investments. Jollibee also opened up some stores also that closed down and it didn't really do so well. You can check this out, Jollibee, Manung Pepe, they did that before. Jollibee also owned Deli France, which is now Cafe France. It, I, I don't know what direction they took, but they also sold it. They just moved on. What I'm saying is this, your investments are not going the way you want it to go. You move on, you don't stop. That's why we talk also a lot about preserving capital, risk management, protecting what you have, diversification, so that when you have a mistake, it's not something that's crippling, but you still have enough to live to fight another day. But you still have enough for you to be able to continuously get better. And if you're watching this and you have a job and you are employed, then that's your advantage because with all of this happening, you still have money that's coming in to take care of your expenses. You still have money that's coming in that could possibly feed your savings. But you still have money that will come in that you could put into your investments. It sucks that the ones that you placed in last year didn't do so well, but you're in a better off situation than a lot of people that don't have any fixed amount of income. For those who are asking about timings for resigning and quitting your job, you have to look at it from this perspective. When you have your job, it can give you full confidence also to risk more, to take on riskier positions, and to be more aggressive because you have health benefits, you have a fixed source of income. What you lose lang though from your job is time. Your job, of course, will take a lot of time from you. And as it takes a lot of time from you, it could have been spent doing other things as well. However, when you flip that around, you have still a stream of income from your job. Plus, you have something that you can get from your job that you can put into more investments. Keep on moving forward. Keep on trying to see that there's more to life than the mistakes that you've made. And we all go through that. And it, it sucks when you're in the midst of it. You're in the midst of that mistake when you're in the midst of losing that amount of money when it's 2027 or 2032 and you look back at this year or you look back at 2022 you will just laugh at it you will realize that those were the years that formed you those were the years that made you better those were the years that strengthened you those were the years that gave you the knowledge to stay away from certain investments that are not really working for you it's only a failure if you don't learn from it it's only a failure if you don't use that mistake to make you a better person and to make you a better investor. And the same is true with markets. They go through cycles. There are moments that they're down, but they don't stay down long. If markets and economies don't stay down long, you have to be also swinging in that direction that when it reverses up, you're riding the tide, you're fighting. And that means you don't quit. That means you don't stop. That means you don't lose heart when things are bad. Please remember, victory doesn't come from winning all the time. Victory comes when, no matter how hard it is, no matter the loss that you encounter, you keep on moving forward, you keep on attacking, you keep on learning and making yourself better. I just want to encourage that to all of you because I want everyone also to realize that this entire move, regardless of where you are in life for financial freedom, them for this entire move in terms of you having enough savings and investments for your future it's not a sprint but it's a marathon it's not you just trying to get the results quickly but it's a never-ending process to make yourself better it's a never-ending process also to pivot and shift and to realize that there are certain things that may have worked five years ago and right now in 2023 you're not working anymore make yourself better learn never stop investing it's always still better to be an investor and an entrepreneur versus spending what you have on things that don't matter so that's it for now marvin germo i hope this video helps you play well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon and god bless you all right.